elephant danced, the other elephant played with the ball for some time, they moved out of the tent, they moved out of the rain and there came a small parrot. A small parrot and this parrot was a, uh, you know, riding a bicycle. It was, you know, two pedals are there, na? yeah, this uh, parrot was actually sitting on these two pedals. It was controlling the handle using its beak and that was a pedaling. It's riding a bicycle. A parrot was riding a bicycle in that, and then there came monkeys. Right? Monkeys also came there. Monkeys were performing a lot of things. It's not just that they are doing able to do this. They were jumping, they were uh, you know trapezing, they were uh, running around. Hmm? So monkeys also came, then they were jumping through the rings. Okay, so they were doing all these kinds of activities, making fun among the people. Then the acrobats came. Acrobats. So acrobats are people who do different kinds of activities like you know balancing act and all. So what they will do is they will, uh, you know, uh, yeah, there will be tight rope kept, a rope, and they will be walking on that. Can we walk on the rope in the air? Impossible, na? They will walk. They will not only walk, after reaching a particular point, they will do some tricks also. For example, they will balance themselves on one leg. Okay, they are already in the air. There is a tight rope kept. They are standing on that. They will keep one leg. They will balance the entire body on one leg. And then there will be a man standing there. He will keep a saucer on his leg. Okay, he will keep his leg like this. The saucer will be kept here and he will kick it. The saucer will go up and keep, come and settle on his head. He will not fall down. The saucer is there. Then the joker or the person standing down there, they keep a cup on his feet. He kicks the cup also. The cup goes up and it comes exactly set, set, get settled on the saucer. Another saucer, another cup, another saucer, another cup. There will be plenty of tricks. Who? The acrobats. Okay? And uh, they will come and do some somersaults also. Somersault means what? Uh, yeah, jumping in a... We jump or uh, when we jump, the entire body will be going in a rolling form. Okay? Lot of activities. Plenty of activities where the people exactly express how skilled they are. The acrobats. So acrobats performed and all of a sudden the entire ring got empty. The acrobats went away, the performers went away, the jokers went away, even the music troupe which were playing music until now, they became silent. Even they became silent. The light in the ring part became dim a bit and all the people could only hear one thing and that was a roaring sounds of some animals. So what is going to happen now? Yeah, the beasts of jungle, the lions and the tigers, they are going to come to the ring to perform. Okay, so they came. The lions and tigers, the lions came first, there was a huge cage kept there. The ring master, he had a whip in his hand. Whip means, yeah, a stick which has got a long leather belt at its end, which is used for you know, beating these animals. Obviously, the animals are quite afraid of this beating. As they are afraid of this beating, they will do whatever this man is saying. Actually, that is what is happening there. Right? 
So the ringmaster was ready there with the whip. The animals came. He made the lions perform some uh, uh, some activities like you know uh, what we call it uh, jumping through the rings or uh, the ring itself will be lit with the fire and they have to jump through this uh, firing rings right or uh, making some movements like uh, jumping okay playing with some balls right or uh, running from the opposite sides and jumping without hitting each other so these lines were made to do these kinds of activities over there and uh, then the ring master gave one uh, instruction and both the lions went and uh, sit at one corner there are two stools so some seats kept there both the lions went and uh, sat on that now it was time for the tigers two tigers came and the ring master he gave the instructions and uh, rings were kept the tigers also had to go through the rings they jumped through the rings and the tigers also were made to perform the tricks okay so now the wild animals like uh, lions and a tiger sorry uh, like lions and tigers were made to perform some tricks over there and the people were very excited because lions and tigers we know they are very dangerous isn't it yes so once their activities got over they were sent back to the cage and the cage was pulled out of the den and now the music troop they started to play again okay the entire ring area was lit with the bright light again the performers came back the dancers came back right so they came back and this time without performing much arts they simply stood in a big circle and they bowed bow means yeah bending themselves towards the people so that was in a way saying bye goodbye okay so every day when the performance gets over after the last act so in this act now the last act was of that of the wild animals isn't it so once that got over the performers the jokers all the people who perform in that they come to the ring they stand in a very good circle and uh, they bow themselves towards the people as they are expressing their thanks to the people for coming to the show for being there for this much time and then to encourage them to, uh, for, throughout the show enjoying the tricks encouraging them okay so the people were very happy they were clapping continuously they were clapping continuously because they have enjoyed the show to that level it was a great show the people the animals everybody performed excellently everybody liked it and they were extremely happy fine so they loved it they were very happy they clapped they clapped and they clapped and finally they left the place so as they went inside the senior students uh, students of the upper classes the high classes they took care of the younger students the teachers gave them the instructions they followed they were very happy nobody missed out of the team they came back to the bus and the bus start took them back but you know as they were coming back sharath was very sad sharath was sad because he felt pity to the animals who were kept inside the cage they were so big animals so gorgeous animals huh? they are it is simply put inside the cage and uh, made to do all these kinds of uh, you know tricks and all he loved the show but when he thought about the animals the cruelty that is being shown towards the animals self was very sad about right so that was self's experience on his first visit to a circus okay so you too might have gone to circle shows and all no? so you too might have got the same feelings also you might have enjoyed the show you might have been frightened by the sight of the lions and tigers but uh, it is a very pity that they are kept inside the cage and made to do all these kinds of things okay 
So just like as we may think or we may feel about it, Sarath also felt very bad about it, but he couldn't do anything in that end, isn't it? A small point. So that was Sarath's so first experience on visiting a circus, right? So now we will go on to the question answers and other activity part of this lesson. Okay.